The author, Samuel Clemens, also known as Mark Twain, was famous for his line, there are three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. But I would like to modify, with due respect to Mr. Clemens, I'd like to modify that line to read this way. There are four kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, statistics, and polyinstantiation. Polyinstantiation is the ability to insert false or misleading information into your database so that if there is a breach, people steal the damn lies and not the truth. Polyinstantiation simply means that in the database there are two or more rows for the same bit of information. This is called row level security. Uh, it's not available in MySQL, but Oracle does enable you to do this. And the way it's set up is that you use one column of your table for a security label. And by default, that's of data type number. And then users get assigned security levels. Like you can see in this diagram, Barbara, Barbara is set up so that the most confidential she can be would be to deal with highly sensitive information. That's her highest level of security that she can work at. The minimum level that Barbara can work at is public. That would be the lowest possible level of information. So Barbara's got a pretty wide range. She can enter public information all the way up to highly sensitive. But her default is confidential. And that means that if we don't specify, when we insert information in the tables that have row level security, for Barbara, they will default to be confidential. And you can see below how those insert statements could work. In the first one, we're inserting into the employee table and we're doing this car to label function we'll see later. And this car to label function is what is used to create that security column and here she's creating it as confidential. Now, she didn't have to do that for confidential because that's her default. But you can see in the line below that, she inserts a different employee. Maybe he's a secret employee that no one's supposed to know about. And he, she inserts him as the label highly sensitive. And as we will see, that means that most employees in the company will never even know that we've hired Franklin because the record of his hiring is highly sensitive. Polyinstantiation is the ability of a database to have multiple records with the same primary key. Now you've been taught that you can only have one record per primary key and that the primary key identifies the rows uniquely. But what polyinstantiation does, it puts a twist on that. It lets you identify the information element uniquely but there may be two or more representations of that data. Now, there are two different kinds of polyinstantiation. There's invisible polyinstantiation. This is when polyinstantiation happens, but no one is aware of it. For example, someone could have inserted a high security record in the database. Someone else could insert the same information at a lower security level probably it would be a little bit different information. And they insert that and they believe that that is the only record that is there. They are not aware of the fact that someone has come along before them and inserted a record with a higher security level. Similarly, there is visible polyinstantiation and this can occur when a user has a higher security level and she inserts a data into a an attribute where we already know that the data has been put in before by somebody else at a lower security level. We're going to see some examples of polyinstantiation when we talk about our corporate example of meetings and secret meetings. So let's learn more about Barbara, whose Oracle profile we saw earlier. She's an executive VP of human resources. And as you can see from her profile below her, that the maximum level she can work at is the highly sensitive level. 
and the lowest level is public. Now compare Barbara to Asha. Asha on the left is an entry level clerk. And the maximum security level that Asha can work at is the confidential level, and the minimum is the public. In other words, Asha is completely prohibited from seeing any highly sensitive information. We're going to see how Asha and Barbara work with the same information and show this two versions of the truth that is polyinstantiation. So here we have a simple many-to-many -many relationship between an employee and meetings. And of course, an employee can attend many meetings and a meeting will have attending it many employees. So we have the bridging table in the middle. Notice that both the attendance table and the meeting table have an additional field. The field is called security. It could be called anything. But that's the field that Oracle would use to apply row-level security. In point of fact, some employees, like Asha, may not even be aware that the table she's working in has a security column. Okay, so on the left we have the employees Barbara Smith, that's our famous Barbara. We have Mary Jones and Zach Efron, and Asha is here to record information about an important meeting. So she inserts into the meeting table a meeting that happens on the 23rd of August. Now, Asha thinks it was the fiscal planning session. That's all she knows. She's a low-level clerk. So she puts that in there. And she was also told that two employees attended, that Mary Jones and Zach Efron attended. She inserts that information into the bridging table attendance. Remember, though, that Asha's default security level is confidential. So even though she's not aware of the security field, every time she inserts records into these tables, it picks up her default of confidential. And confidential might correspond to the number 200 because it's gonna be turned into an integer in order for Oracle row-level security to work. Now, along comes Barbara, and Barbara is aware of the true purpose of the meeting. First of all, Barbara herself was in attendance. Asha did not know this. So Barbara inserts into the attendance table that she, Barbara Smith, was also at meeting 10. But because she wants to keep that a secret, she labels it highly sensitive using the car to label function. So why would the Vice President of Human Resources be at a fiscal planning session. They wouldn't. So the fact that she was there is a dead giveaway that the meeting was something else. So she hides the fact that she attended the meeting, but records it in the database as highly sensitive. Then she goes into the meeting table and she adds another row for meeting 10. This time she doesn't call it the fiscal planning session. She calls it the big layoff meeting. She keeps the same date, but again, uses the car to label function to say that the meeting is in fact highly sensitive. So let's take a look at our poly instantiated database. Notice that the attendance table in the middle has the security column, and when Asha put things into it, they were identified with the security level of 200. But when um, Barbara put in her own attendance, it had a security level of 300. Similarly, in the meeting table, when Asha put in what the meeting was about for, for row 10, she called it the fiscal planning session with a security level of 200. But when Barbara put in what meeting 10 was really about, the big layoff meeting, it had a security level of 300. This is an example of how data can live in a database at different security levels. Now what's interesting is what happens when Barbara and Asha query the database. When Barbara queries the database because her security level allows her to see top secret information, when she runs this query, she sees the big layoff meeting on the 23rd of August with Zac Efron, Barbara Smith, and Mary Jones. Notice that Barbara does not even see the bogus meeting, the fiscal planning session. She only sees the real meeting, number 10. 
But when Asha queries using the exact same SQL, she sees the same meeting date, but the topic that she sees is the topic with the lower security level. She still sees it as a fiscal planning session. And when she looks at the attendees, she only sees Mary Jones and Zac Efron. Asha does not know that Barbara's at the meeting, even though that information is stored in the database. The reason why polyinstantiation is so important is that very few people will be like Barbara Smith. Very few people will have high security clearance. And if there's a security breach, and if Asha's password gets compromised, then whoever hacked Asha is only going to see a lower level of security information. So this is a really powerful way to protect your database from hackers by having different levels of information within the same tables.